Hey, I'm Crafty Phoebe. Thank you for joining me today. We're going to do some stamping with Artistically Inked and we're going to use some unexpected colors. Let's get started. Today we're going to spend a little time with Artistically Inked, a new stamp set in the annual catalog on page 97. And I saw a lot of beautiful cards made with these colors. Uh, there, there is a lovely DSP uh, collection that goes with this set and it has uh, the polished pink and the other newer color just jade as well as evening evergreen and I've seen a lot of beautiful cards made with this set with these colors so of course I wanted to go rogue and I wanted to do something different and what I've decided to do is use colors that are a little bit unexpected and I also uh, wanted to make a, um, I try to make a cone flower with this. So let's see if we could do this. First thing I looked at was what a cone flower looks like uh, in nature. And I found that the um, top of the flower is a shape kind of like this one. So I thought I would start with that. And I, it seems like it's kind of like a uh, Cajun craze color. So I think that kind of like a rusty color works. So I'm gonna to try to do that. Oh, and the other thing I wanna do is use um, Sahara sand instead of white. I'm gonna stamp on Sahara sand. Again, we're going rogue. We're trying to do something different from what the um, DSP out there is suggesting. The beautiful DSP that's that's available. I thought, you know, I, I, I'm Phoebe. I have to do something different outside the norm. So here I go. I'm going to make my cone here. Oh, and not only do I want to put Cajun craze on that, I also want to sponge a little bit of, um, uh, what is this? Soft suede. So kind of like a little bit brown going on underneath there. And I'm just going to use a dauber. Okay. A little dauber to sponge on the lower part of this. Okay, you're you're going along for the ride with me. I am definitely trying this for the first time, but I'm not afraid. Don't be afraid to, you know, experiment with your colors. You know how I look color. So here's my little cone. My just my Sahara sand did not show up, but that's okay. I'm going to stamp this a couple times just to get kind of like a Kind of like a messy effect. And you know what? I want to do this twice. I'm going to do this twice. I'm going to pick up my... Oops. Pick up my Cajun Craze. And I'm going to sponge with... Um, this is a darker, soft suede. Okay? I'm going to try to sponge that better. On the lower part of the flower see if I can get some brown because that's what a lot of cone flowers have the upper part is let me just do this one kind of like down here okay so those are my and I'm just gonna kind of like re-stamp this a little get that all on there okay well here we go so that's kind of messy I have to clean that off and then the uh, petals I thought that it would be kind of neat to use this leaf. Okay, we're gonna use this leaf. Let's put away some of these ink pads because we're just asking for trouble. And um, there it is, trouble right there on my manicure, okay. <laughs> and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go with Fresh Freesia. Ooh, very exciting, very beautiful, purpley pinky kind of a color. I'm going to put the petal into, put the petal to the metal, no. I'm gonna put the petal in the Fresh Freesia. Let's do this a little better. And I'm going to then, okay, sponge into, sponge on, the um, melon mambo in the upper part of this because these are lovely um, cone flowers that I found 
they just have this like two-tone petal. Let's start way over here. Oh my, I like that already. Okay, let's clean that. Okay, we're gonna dip back into the Fresh Freesia. And then we're going to sponge the upper part of the petal with um, Mango Melody. Oh, it's looked like a cone flower already. So cute. Okay, so we clean that. Clean in between so that you don't contaminate your fresh freesia with mango melody. I keep saying mango melody. It's melon mambo. I apologize. You know, I'm one of those people that does that. The M, it's the M sound. Okay, so we're going to do that again. We're going to just repeat these beautiful petals. The comb flower seems to be a dark, rusty colored ball, and all these little um, pinkish petals are kind of like dropping off to the sides, kind of worshiping that cone, I think. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. But here we go with more of our petals. I'm only sponging the top part of that, okay? So. All right, so the only, I like what I'm seeing. The only thing that I'm gonna have to do something about that gap, I don't know what I'm gonna do yet, but I'm not worried about it. Let's keep going. All right, more fresh freesia. And more melon mambo. Oh, I got it this time. And then, let's see if I can put this in the right spot. Okay, I like it. I think I'm gonna re-stamp the cone, maybe in the, I don't know, I don't know what I'm gonna do. But I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. And thank you for joining me. I appreciate your patience with me as I explore new colors with, whoops, New colors with Artistically Inked. And I will show you at the end. Oh, that's, that's cute, right? I like it, I like it so much. I will show you other cards that I made with other colors that are not expected, I think they're unexpected, um, with the same stamp set. I made a few cards so that you can see get ideas it's a great set in the annual catalog um we're gonna do this again on the bottom half of that we're going to try to get a darker um bottom of the cone and also connect yeah, I have to do that again. Do you see how I'm dipping only the back, the bottom half of this thing? And I am trying to, okay. Well, okay. It's handmade, so I think that's what I'm gonna do uh, going forward is if, you know, when I make this again, I will probably do the soft suede first and the, Uh, Cajun trays after. There we go. So I'm only dipping, sorry, only dipping the upper part of the stamp into the ink so that I can get that Cajun craze. There we go. There we go. Okay, well, it's cute. I love it. You know, sometimes you don't see something that you like when you're doing it at that moment but then as you look back on it it's like oh this is adorable okay the other thing I wanted to do is the same uh the same item uh, uh stamp shape I wanted to do it in 
my new evening evergreen. This color is so interesting. It's dark and it's uh, beautiful. And green is my favorite color, if you know me. Um, I think that a leaf on this particular flower would show up maybe like this and like this. And it might show up maybe. Since we don't have stems in this set, I'm just going to go with this. And I'm going to have another stem, or rather leaf, supporting supporting uh, the flower like this. And let's do one more in this position over here. That's lovely. Okay. All right, I think we're good there. And you know what, just maybe have, maybe, um, there you go. That's lovely. All right, so I think that I will put my sentiment in the same color because it just, it's so pretty. And I just, you know, calls your attention. I'm gonna use, there's some great sentiments in this set. I'm gonna use Happy Birthday. It's something that I just use, you know, most often in my card making. And that's a nice font. It is um, both masculine and feminine. I love that. Okay, so that's gonna, just gonna mount this. There's my stamp, okay. And I'm gonna use the same. This, oh. Let me show you what I'm doing. <laughs> Use the same color of evening evergreen. I may have mounted this a little off. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to put this on here. I, I love how this looks. I hope that you're inspired. Maybe I'll work on that little gap there. But I'm not too worried about it. Let's try to straighten this out a little. And there's my sentiment. Oh, dots. Now, these little dots, where are my little dots? Oh, there they are. The stamp set has little dots. We could add a few here and there. I'm thinking the color that I probably would use, I'm gonna use the Fresh Freesia, just to kind of draw it out from this area. It's just four little dots, it's adorable. And I'm gonna put them here and there. Just for, it's, I think that's kind of like whimsical, you know, it adds a little bit of whimsy in a cute way. And just for fun, one more right here. Okay. You know, we got, might as well like surround this. Yeah, I like that. A little bit of whimsy. We're going to put this on a card base. And I think that the contrast of the Sahara sand with white would be so pretty. Okay. I like that. Lovely card. Okay, so I am going to quickly move on to the next thing I want to show you because time is passing. And so there's my card, my uh, coneflower card, okay? Let me show you a few others that I made with unexpected colors. So here we go. This was a little bit of uh, fresh freesia, some pastels. I used a little flower uh, in its individually. Instead of the three that are on one stamp, I used the one and made little bundles of flowers. Love this, so pretty. Okay. Then I used um, cherry cobbler and I put centers in the flower. Oh, and this is the ranunculus that I absolutely love. Oh my goodness, I love that ranunculus. The ranunculus is my favorite flower. And when I saw this set, I had to have it because of that. This was lovely. I, I started out with the sea foam, but then I felt like it needed another green in there just to kind of bring the flowers and 
the dark flowers with the light leaves together. So this is um, shaded spruce on the little flower. That looks very Christmassy, right? Okay, let's go on, shall we? We've got this color scheme, which is the Cajun Craze again. A little bit of uh, leaves in Sahara sand. And then two tones on the leaves there, the larger leaves, and some Blackberry Bliss as well. This will be my sentiment location. <laughs> okay, and then I went crazy with the Ranunculus and uh, Fresh Freesia, and then added a little bit of color with my gorgeous grape, and little details here and there with, I think this is Poppy, okay? I love the, the collection of colors that I have going on here. I'm super happy with what I have. You have to try this stamp set with different uh, color schemes. Look at that. This one, I, I almost have my card ready there. Best Wishes is a great sentiment that's in this stamp set. Uh, this is um, Night of Navy. I also used a limey stamp color that I'm not stamping up but um, the leaves are two tones of green. This is um, Bermuda Bay and the new early evergreen, or evening evergreen, <laughs> not early, but late. Okay, and then just a couple more. This card, love that. I love the way these came out, very tropical. You've got your yellows and your bright oranges. This is a pumpkin. Two shades of green, actually three shades of green. And I did a kind of a two-tone effect on the on the sentiment there. Okay, very pretty. We have a set, a, a color scheme here that's um, petal pink and cal calypso coral. And I used one of the older doilies and I used the punch for the postage stamp, okay. A little bit of uh, DSP, love that. And finally, a beautiful, I guess Gerber Daisy, maybe that's what that is. I, I use the melon there, a nice little square, a little bit of uh, using the postage stamp in kind of a reduced, a double punch to make it a smaller uh, size, another sentiment there that is beautiful in the stamp set uh, a little bit of bumblebee on the smaller flowers just to complement and contrast with the larger flowers and that's it that's my collection of stamps with unexpected color schemes i'm so happy that you joined me today this is crafty phoebe take care see you next time <music>